and he was getting initiated and he had to go break a bottle over a guy's head and he was like, I didn't know what else to do because they were going to kill me if I didn't. So he ended up breaking a bottle over this guy's head. Magtech has maintained their high quality during the ammo panic and ramped production to the max. Their ammo is the only ammo I run on the range because of its performance and reliability. I recommend Magtech wholeheartedly. The way this all kind of started, anybody ever heard of a Dear John letter? Okay, what's Dear John letter, the guys over in World War II, they had tons of this going on. She's like, eh, sorry, your parents died while you, while you were over there fighting the war, or your girlfriend left you and married the guy that 4F'd and couldn't go over there. So yeah, you're on your own. These guys come back to no family, no girlfriend. What do they do? They go looking for something. They, come, they literally went over and saved the world, and they come back to that. Can you, can you imagine? So they're trying to reacclimate themselves to life, but still, you got, got that adventurous lifestyle you're looking for. And then there's also some PTSD that goes on with that. And that sense of military brotherhood. So what is this all sounding like right now? What are you looking for? You can see how these guys would fall into that. Yeah, that's what a lot of folks would do. And then there's also the farm's gone, the job is gone, maybe not that social anymore, You're having a hard time making money. So that's kind of where motorcycle gang started. Hell's Angels are probably the, one of the first ones. And again, you'll see those, those three patches there. And we'll talk about some more. This is called a cut, a three patch cut. Usually it's on a leather vest, almost always on a leather vest. That is the most important thing in the world to that person who's wearing that. You don't want to touch that. The top rocker tells us who they are. Remember how we talked about the government definition of a gang? <coughs> They're telling us who they are right there. They're telling us who they are in the middle. What are they telling us in the bottom? What are they claiming? Territory. Territory. Turf for territory. Absolutely. If you got one of these guys from the outlaws and one of these guys from, say, or let's say Hell's Angels and Mongols, and they're both claiming Oklahoma, and they're both in the same room, guess what happens? Violence. Violence. No, they talk it out, usually. <laughs> they get a moderator. Usually not good things, so we don't want to be in that place, right? That's not some place we want to be. We want to see those folks from a distance. The center patch has the insignia. And here's a little scary part. If you, you can have one of these folks who's got this one, maybe this one, this one, but not that one. That's what's called a prospect or a probie. Those guys are trying to get in the gang and they're trying to prove their way and it takes a lot. Guess how they get into the gang? They demonstrate that they are their kind of folks. So there's a story of a undercover officer who was infiltrating, he was ATF, he was infiltrating, I can't remember who it was, Banditos or Hells Angels or somebody. And he was getting initiated and he had to go break a bottle over a guy's head and he was like, I didn't know what else to do because they were going to kill me if I didn't. So he ended up breaking a bottle over this guy's head to show. I'm not sure how that case got passed, but um, they're very unpredictable and they'll do what they have to do to get to get into that club. Now, does anybody recognize this? This is like something you might have like to support your kids softball team, whatever. Red and white, support the red and white. 81. Guess what that's for them. Not you, you don't get I already know you're trying to cheat. <laughs> <laughs> you're, you're going to cheat, I know you. This is Hell's Angels. Now, how would we ever figure that out? H-A, yep. What's the eighth letter of the alphabet? Oh, I, I like to watch people go. It's H, and the one is what? A, H-A, Hell's Angels. You'll see a lot of that here coming up. And if we get past about the hour mark, somebody holler at me because I get real excited doing this and I don't stop. <laughs> but we'll take a break about an hour. Hell's Angels, as it turns out, are not nice folks. They were one of the first motorcycle gangs. They started in California, mostly. And they're white supremacists. When a lot of guys come back, um, Hispanic folks that came back, they wanted to join a gang. Hell's Angels said, uh, no, we don't cotton your kind. So what did they do? They started the Mongols. They started the Mongols. So if you come across Hell's Angels and Mongols in the same place, <laughs> Don't be there. Unask that situation. 
So here's some more. Um, these are central states. A lot of these folks are. Outlaws, Mongols, and Banditos, and Vagos. All these folks we have had in Enid, Oklahoma, causing problems. Every single, every single one of them. The um, outlaws especially are a, uh, they, are, they make a lot of money running dope and girls all over, and especially down I-40 and I-44 down around Oklahoma City. I come across a group of them one time. I didn't mean to. I was inside. Wife was out fueling up the bus. All of them come in. I was like, oh. <laughs> and they're all huge, by the way. <laughs> They all come in, and uh, I thought it would be funny if I went up and asked one of them if I could buy some illegal narcotics or firearms from them. And the one guy says, no, you have cop here. That's profiling, okay? <laughs> profiling is wrong. I didn't do that. Please don't do that. <laughs> Just joking. So here's some more of that. What letter is, what number letter is M, the 13th letter? So you're going to, one, three is something you want to look for. M can be what, you think? Motorcycle, it can be marijuana, it can be some other stuff we'll talk about later too. And then if they have an FTW, the, the TW stands for the world. I'll let you do the math on the what the F is for. This is a European one, and the reason I use this one is because it uses all of their all of their insignias. So they got the FTW, you got the 13, you've got the uh, Nazi Eagle, and this guy is a devil. Devil forever, forever devil. If you see anything with FF in the middle, if it's UFFU, MFFM, whatever, that two Fs in the middle, almost always a gang member. Almost always. Very few of the two patch clubs do that because they know better. And we'll talk about exceptions a little bit later too. And anytime you got MC, that can mean anything. That can just be a motorcycle club. Most of the real Legitimate motorcycle clubs do not use MC on their patch because they're nervous about it. They're nervous they're going to get mistaken for the wrong guy. So they generally won't do that. And let me see. And a devil, that is skull and crossbones. Except for firearms instructors, anytime you see uh, <laughs> skull and crossbones, that might be a bad guy. But a lot, of the, a lot of the firearms instructors like that stuff too. So does that kind of make sense so far? So how about the life and the culture? How many ladies are involved in these, in these organizations, do you think? At least three. <laughs> this, is, this, is, this is a legitimate picture that happened at, and I can't remember who, whose event it was. If it was, um, I think it was Hells Angels. When I was in school, we would have t-shirts, and they would say property of Becky. We weren't serious. They are. These guys are very serious. And women are absolutely property in most of these gangs. It's not like those TV, there was series on TV. It's not like that at all. It's generally, um, they're not friendly to the ladies. The ladies get passed around, just like the prospects have to do some terrible stuff. Guess what the ladies have to do? Terrible stuff. They don't get the benefits of it. And then discipline is violence. And you'll see a lot of prostitution and pornography. And guess who gets the bad end of that deal? When you're... When you see a lot of folks in the movies, they're like, oh, we hire these, we hire these ladies or gangs, we hire these ladies, so we treat them real nice, and they do, they do pornography for us. No, it's more like my old lady is not doing anything today. She can go make this movie for us. Nice, huh? It's not like the, not like the, the uh, series at all. So again, the criminal enterprise, they run guns, they run dope, they do cross-country transportation for other gangs, and more and more, we're seeing human trafficking going on. More and more and more, especially with outlaws. If you see a group of outlaws, they'll a lot of times have a box trailer with them. Guess what they're doing? There could be people, dope, drugs, whatever in there. Has anybody ever heard that the Hells Angels do charity work? Are you all familiar with that at all? They do charity work. They're good guys. Boy. They're good guys. They're good guys. They do PR. They win that hearts and minds. These guys are giving away bicycles to little kids at Christmas. Why are they doing that? Why do they care? Partial for recruitment, absolutely. Why did Al Capone run all kinds of charities and stuff? 
He did. He did a lot of philanthropic work. Why? Some of it could be recruiting because those children are not eligible. Absolutely could be. Absolutely could be. The it's biggest the reason, life. I'm sorry. Get the people to like them. Exactly. Hearts and minds. If does anybody remember in the 70s, 60s and 70s, anybody old enough to remember what crime was like then and what happened in the 80s? Everybody came and said, no more, no more of this. We're going to start voting for politicians that drop hammers on bad guys and that they don't want that to happen again. In the 80s, we had a very anti-crime movement. You'll notice that they've been very smart about that recently, all these gangs. They've been very smart about keeping a low profile, and we'll talk about that a little more later too.